All right. Welcome back. As promised, we are here. I'm here with uh, Tim in my studio. Uh, my name is Christoph. Um, I run this channel and this studio here, which is part of Blackboard, um, a company spread out all over Germany. And we actually focus on collaboration tools. And many people think like, why on earth do you have a YouTube channel and talk about photography? Why not? Simple as that. We share our experience about the tools. And uh, for us, one of these tools and one of these ways to share is images, video, podcasts, so all the stuff that is part of communication and a picture can communicate as much as a message. So in my free time, I love to shoot photos and the best photographer I know in my field and my area that I have access to is Tim, Tim Falkenhagen. He's also our coach at Blackboard, helping the crew with all the strengths. Check him out, we link it below. But we're here today not to talk about business, but about our passion, which is photography. And um, we made a run through Hamburg comparing the Ricoh GR3, which is my street photography camera go-to choice. And Tim has a brand new Leica MP10. There's a bit of a price difference in here. And uh, we actually went to the Leica store in Hamburg to check out the new Q2 monochrome as well. So we will talk about our images that we took, um, how we edit, why we like think of black and white, for example, and how to choose a certain camera. What we don't do here is comparing features. This is not about features, it's about feeling. Let's jump into that. Let's dive into the images we shot, I would say, in the run and, and share a little bit why we like it or not. I wasn't too happy with my images that day. I know I, I really need to be in the feeling, in the mood. Um, I kind of got into it, but I was also stressed, like still mm -hmm. not yeah. running the camera properly. And it, it reminded me that you need years to like use these things properly, but you just shouldn't put them in, in auto mode, I would say. This this is a black and white conversion uh, I did uh, basically uh, automatically um, uh, in Lightroom and um, I was focusing on this this guy uh, main interest uh, was uh, the mirroring um, mm -hmm. uh, of the person in the rain and um, yeah that I capture this because this gives uh, a dynamic to the image would you like choose this which way would you go color or black and white um, good question. In this image, uh, there is not much color anyway, so um, only the coat of the guy mm -hmm. in blue and the rest is basically uh, grayscale anyway, so I would go for the black and white here. It would be interesting to, to ask the viewer um, if they like um, black and white better mm -hmm. than color mm -hmm. or not. Yeah, so comment below what do you think? Color of black and white and maybe give us the why and, and the personal feeling. I don't know what this is, but uh, machines and uh, air sucking machines. Um, yeah, this is uh, beautiful in black and white, but it also has uh, interesting parts in color. Um, the close up. Mm -hmm. um, I love the details and the grays, the shadows, um, the soft tones here. This was then on the go. You choose that picture. You didn't work on it, like you choose a certain amount of pictures, right? You go through the pictures and you choose which ones you want to work on and then yeah. you don't give it too much editing or what do you edit? Uh, I'm very happy with the quality out of the camera actually. Mm -hmm. um, when I uh, develop into black and white, I um, I do the 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 zone um, technique from from Ansel Adams. Um, you can uh, look after that on YouTube. It's can very you just interesting. Give a glimpse. I heard it and I read about it, but for who doesn't know it, just a little glimpse into what are zones. Uh, zones are the the like ten uh, gray uh, scales uh, of the image, and uh, the interesting thing is that in in color. Uh, the color tones, if you transfer them into black and white, they are not always the same mm -hmm. black and white tone. They are slightly different. So mm -hmm. uh, you can transfer the, the tones of a color 
towards uh, black and white grayscale uh, in a specific way uh, and that is important. And I make a choice in when I import the pictures which one I want and then I choose do I want it black and white or not and I don't keep both. I just stay with one then. Ah, uh, you shoot RAW plus yeah. JPEG. Yeah, Okay. And, but I usually use the JPEG just as a preview Mm -hmm. and I added the raw image to black and white and that's when I thought like why not directly shooting black and white like mm -hmm. a monochrome camera um, because I often go with a black and white version and um, I don't keep both but I have kept color images in here this one for example where I like this um, but this is an edited color um, I liked it that you have the background with his red and then his shirt and at the same time this golden uh, coffee machine. That's mm -hmm. why I, I kept that um, with a little bit of this blue contrast on the outside. Mm, nice. Yeah, and this is uh, our model. Uh, we met also in the Schanze. She works uh, in a design uh, agency and uh, she had a lot of fun uh, shooting with us. Uh, it made her day, she said. <laughs> and uh, yeah. This, why did you choose this one? Um, because her look, uh, it's not, it's, it's, it's a neutral look, I would say. She's smiling, but not too much. She's, she's not smiling for the camera. Uh, she is just there and happy. And I think uh, I shot her in a very, it's her. Uh, it's, mm. it's, it's, uh, it's her speaking out of the camera. Uh, it's very neutral and that's why I love it. Oh, this is my favorite image uh, that you took. Why? Because it sums up how he thinks about his work. It shows how proud he is, um, that he's still at the same time a bit shy and, and uh, humble, I can tell. Um, he has the, the gloves on, the key, the leather jacket, you see where he's staged, it's not staged, it's, it's actually where he works. And this sums it up what he does in one image. I don't need a name, I don't need anything. I can, mm -hmm. like, that's the story I tell. And I don't want colors in this case mm -hmm. because I want to use my fantasy um, to, like, when, when kids listen to a story, I rather prefer how they listen to it and how they mm -hmm. dive into it compared mm -hmm. to when they watch something. Mm -hmm. So, like, one of the, the things that I see um, in photography is the importance of limiting yourself to, um, yeah, to a certain in a certain way, and I know we agree on that. So you maybe might share your thoughts about limitation. Mm, yeah, um, I, I'm. I, I love uh, technical stuff and um, features, and um, I really enjoy um, the uh, Leica M uh, because. It's fully manual and mm -hmm. I can um, concentrate on three parameters on ISO, on shutter speed and um, the aperture. And um, if I set it right, I actually uh, go through the streets and uh, I just shoot and I yeah. don't have to focus anymore on any technical parameters. And this frees me actually to focus on my, my targets, uh, to focus on my pictures. And I have the same, for example, with black and white. Um, I kind of got hooked this year um, in black and white photography, seeing a Peter Lindbergh exhibition mm -hmm. and um, recognizing that there are certain moments that black and white can transport in a different way. What I find so interesting is that you, pi that you pay such a high price for a camera that has a pure monochrome sensor. But as I told you, I, I, I like really deep dive into the stuff and as I learned that this uh, sensor has been developed purely for that camera and it, it takes out this uh, the the pixels that are green red and blue which make a color sensor and reduce it to just light and this yeah, the makes bio it, filter is missing. this makes it so yeah. sharp and and so clear i i can understand why limitation makes sense and it makes you more creative i know it's crazy but well nice so um yeah, you're still not 100 percent sure to invest in a new camera right uh, the guys what? know me here, so they already <laughs> made bets that, I, that it will happen. The problem is with, the, with that one, you have to wait for such a long time and I'm not very patient. Thorsten Overgaard said in one video, the camera chooses you. And, and I have the same feeling for the red, when I made that choice, I was clear we do that investment and it was a hell lot of money. 
a hell of money. It's still a hell of money for that camera. But it was never a mistake. I had challenging days. I missed a meeting. Wait a second. Happens. To make it short, um, I, I have much more feeling for black and white. I love color images sometimes, but I'm never a big fan of having all the options in the world. I just don't like that. I don't know why. So then we will have another video watching you buying the camera. God. Most likely it will happen. Why would you prefer a black and white more over the color? I don't know. I like it that you make a picture that comes out of the camera that you can use. So when it comes out raw, I always have to edit, which I do. And I give it a different look. I give it a different story. but. Um, this is the black and white JPEG and as you see I did a lot of editing on high the black and white because I don't like that one here. High contrast. Yeah, that's way too high. Um, but what I made out of it was this one then. Mm -hmm. And to me it talks much, much more. It's timeless, it, it captures a moment, yeah, it's a fitting. I, I often have the feeling black and white talks to me much, much more than, than color, but maybe I say something else in, in the next year because I'm experimenting and working. And, and I also have to say, I admire the boldness and the consequence of developing a sensor purely for a camera that is recording light and mm. not color and not mm. saturation, light. So here we are. This was the inside view and um, from seeing a lot of photography videos I learn the most when people talk about their pictures, their images and the camera. So I hope you guys took something from that. So um, stay tuned if we do this crazy journey and continue um, and see if we go on with this Leica journey. We're not too sure yet. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. Thank you, Tim, for joining us this morning. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys can feel Keep the Keep shooting. <laughs>